All right, here we go. Oh God. Nuh uh. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be waterproofing this drone. So to do that, I have this. And this is Coke King. I got this from Race Day Quads. I will leave the uh, link to this in the description. Um, but this is just meant to coat everything on the drone and it should be waterproof. So we'll see if it works. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna completely take apart this drone. I'm gonna take everything off of the frame and I'm basically just gonna be left with the flight controller, the ESCs, the motors, the camera, the video transmitter and the receiver. All right, so I have this pretty much all set. Um, one thing I should mention before you start doing this, make sure your drone flies before you start coating it in this stuff, because once this is on there, it'll probably be a little difficult to get to these pads and you know adjust stuff so just make sure your drone flies first before you start taking it apart to this extent but uh everything's loose everything's off of the frame now so i should be able to lift this up and just take all the parts off all right so there's the frame i'm just gonna put this aside so now what I want to do is I don't have anything protecting these ESCs. So I'm going to go grab some heat shrink. I'm going to just put it around here. And then once I start coating this, I'm actually going to put the coat king on the very edges of that. So that's going to seal up the hole that goes in through here and into the ESC. All right, so I got all the motors off. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start putting the Coke King on the main board. And I'm just gonna do this on the top. And then after the fact, I'm gonna let it sit for 15 minutes, let it dry, and do the other side. So I'm gonna So while I'm letting the flight controller dry, I'm going to coat the video transmitter and the receiver. All right, so this is pretty dry. Um, it's a little sticky, but I think that's just kind of how this stuff is when it does dry. Um, assuming that it's going to get a little less sticky. But um, all I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna flip it over and I am going to coat the other side of the VTX, the other side of the receiver, and the other side of the flight controller. Now I have a micro SD card in here. I'm just gonna keep that in there because I don't wanna ruin anything that's on it. I just wanna you know keep the board the way it is. So. I'm just gonna keep this like this and yeah I'm just gonna put Coke King all over the back of this and just to be safe I'm gonna put a little bit of the Coke King right into the bottom here All right, so I'm gonna let that all just kind of sit for a little while. Um, it's mostly dry, it's been sitting for close to 15 minutes, but I'm just gonna let it sit for a second and I'm gonna get started on the camera. Now for the camera, I don't wanna take the lens off because the lens is focused and I don't wanna mess with that. So I'm gonna be putting Coke King around 
the lens so that no water gets in that way. Um, the only part that I have to worry about is these holes right here. And then there's a cage right here. Now, for the connector, I'm not gonna put any coking on that until it's connected to the board, and then I'm gonna put some coking around the entire thing. But for right now, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this apart. I'm not gonna play with the focus on the lens, and I'm going to take these two screws out and just try and put a little coking right on the inside just to protect this hole um, so that no water gets in there. So I'm gonna take some coking, I'm gonna put it right over this, and uh, that should keep the water out because there's also gonna be a screw in there. So I'm gonna let this dry for a little bit and then we'll put the board back in, put some coking around this. I'm mainly gonna focus on getting Coat King right now around the, uh, the lens. Now I'm gonna just let this dry. All right, so these, this all has had some time to dry um, around the ring that's you know, it's still sticky, but All right, so this has all had some time to dry. So before I do the back here, I'm gonna connect the uh, connector for the camera that's on the flight controller. So I'm gonna find that and I'm going to get it right here. And that's making a good connection. I can put the Code King on it. All right, so I let this sit for the rest of the day. Um, everything looks wet, but it's just coated in the Code King and it's dry. It's not sticky, really. It's kind of, uh, it almost just feels like it's rubberized. But I uh, got the camera done, got the VTX done, got the receiver done. I have the entire flight controller done. I put a little bit in the XT60 connection, as well as the capacitor leads. Um, I went over the board uh, multiple times. I don't see any points where it should short out or water should get to it. So this should be good. Um, the next thing that I have to do is waterproof the ESCs. So because I'm not using a 4-in-1, it's not as easy as this. Um, these are gonna be a little more difficult. What I'm gonna do is put this, there's no Coke King on any of these yet. There's nothing on it. I'm just gonna put the heat shrink around it. move it all the way down the wires. And my plan is I'm gonna take these motors, I'm gonna solder it on. I'm not gonna put any Coat King on these. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this down, heat shrink it, and then I'm gonna take the Coat King and I'm actually gonna basically just put it right on the very edge and around the wires. All right, so now that that's these, these motors are all set, um, everything's dry, I'm going to slide the um, heat shrink all the way down until I have a little bit on each one, just about there. All right, so now all I'm gonna do is shrink these down around the ESC and then we'll be good to put the Coat King on and then that's pretty much it for the drone.
Um, I didn't film any of that because I kind of had to like finagle this off of my table so that I could have this balanced on my table and I could hold this and hold the lighter underneath this to shrink these, but whatever, dude, it's all set. Now, basically all I'm gonna do is take this with a fine tip, stick it into the e each arm and just let it seal off each end. And uh, then I'll do that for the same down on the motor side. So then the ESCs should be protected. And that's honestly it for the drone. So that's all I'm gonna do now. All right, so I went through this, I kind of touched up a few little areas where it looked like it could use a little bit more of the Coat King. Um, but this is all set. So this is the entire body of the drone. This is good to go. Once this is completely dried, I'm, I'm gonna put it on the frame. All right, everything is back together. I have a battery on here and we're just gonna test and make sure that everything is working the way it should. So I got a little screen here just to make sure that the VTX and the camera are working. And then I have my radio just to make sure that it arms. So here we go. All right, so camera's good that's awesome and now I'll turn my Tyrannus on and we'll see if I can get it to arm awesome so it works as it should or at least it seems like it will so now we will take it outside, make sure it flies, and then we'll see if it will fly in water. All right, it's time to test it. There we go. Oh my God. So that's how you make an FPV drone completely waterproof. I highly recommend Coat King. I've been flying this drone in the snow, in the rain, at the beach, and it still flies completely fine. So, highly recommended. If this video helped you out, make sure you like, uh, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. I post videos like this all the time, different mods, different things you can do to your drone. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.